How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing a lowering link on this Honda XR650L. So coming underneath the bike, we're going to be looking at the linkage system. And what we're going to want to look for is this one almost bone looking piece here. That's going to be the link that we're going to be taking out and replacing with the Kuba link. Uh, pretty straightforward. Bolt there, bolt there, and then remove and reinstall the new one. All right, so as you guys can see, both bolts are loose on the lower end, as well as, if I can point it out, the upper end towards the engine side of the link. Now we're gonna be pushing out this first bolt, then to follow by the second one, and then replace it with the Kuba link. So first major thing to point out is when you're doing this, uh, you might run into the same thing we are, which is that the chain tends to block this first axle from coming out. So we're gonna have to remove the wheel. Uh, we also went ahead and removed the chain guard just to create some space so that we can pop that out. Uh, you might not be set. Almost there. It's out. So if I pop if I pop this end out, which I can already do, um, shouldn't go anywhere because it's yeah it's locked up above, and then this should be able to so, tilt yeah. out like that. Yeah, I got it. Okay. All right, so after a little bit of hassle, we got the rear wheel off and we ended up getting the link system off uh, after playing with it for a little bit. You have to reuse these little end caps here. They're gonna just sit right on these little hubs and then reinstall it the exact same way as you took it out. Make sure that you don't lose these little inserts as well. Uh, these are essential to the bearing system and if you don't have these in here, then the axles that you have will not seat properly and they will rub against your bearings, which you don't want. So make sure that you have these when you install. This is how your end product should look with the hubs over your bearings. And like I said, just reinstall it the exact same way that the OEM came out. This is, there we go. There we go, now we're good. All right, so you guys can see the bolts went in going this way. The nuts are gonna screw on on that side and the same right there. Uh, and that Kuba link just kind of pushed it down just a little bit <clears throat> to lower the rear suspension. So this is the final link system installed. Uh, as you can see, bolts tightened down either end. Uh, I'd recommend hitting these bearings with a little bit of grease just to get started. I'll tell you when it's coming through. You get, you're good. So the next part of this is once we get the wheel thrown back on, um, you know, like I said, we had to remove it just so we could get the first little axle out. Uh, but once we get that thrown on, we're gonna need to take a look at the front shocks and make sure that they are dropped as well. Cause you don't want the bikes sit a little bit lower in the back and not equalized in the front. So that's gonna be the next step there. So we are all set. We just finished lowering the front end, dropped it just about an inch. You can see, brought it down from being about flush with the cap to going down just about an inch. Uh, and that's just to compensate, obviously, for the drop with the Kuba link. So, pretty happy with the way that it came out. But I hope this video helped you guys a little bit out uh, in your own installation. If it did, drop a like, a uh, comment. I love hearing from you guys. And if you guys like this kind of content, definitely subscribe. I got content coming out almost every week. So I will see you guys on the next one. Adios.